Hi everyone, Blake Jones here. In this episode of How Do You Do That, we're going to go over the use of groups when doing color grading. Groups is a wonderful way of speeding up the scene-by-scene -scene color correction process. By utilizing the control in the top of the node graph display in the color page, this will allow you to actually decide whether you want your group correction to be before or after the node graph. So that being said, let's have a look at it and see exactly how it works and how it does speed things up. Okay, so what we want to do first is we want to create a group of all the shots with the narrator here. And so what I'm going to do here is click on him. I'll hold down the command key, select the shots I want to be in the group. Okay right mouse click on here and what we do here is we select add into new group okay given his name select okay now now at first glance everything looks exactly the same except as you can see we've got a little chain link here that shows that these three shots are actually linked together and up here in the node graph area, everything looks the same. However, if we click on clip, you can actually see group pre-clip and group post-clip. Now, the reason why that exists is in the event that maybe one or more clips have different amounts of nodes in their node graph, you have the opportunity that you can apply the correction either before the node graph correction or you can apply it after the node graph correction. So if I have it in just clip mode, as you can see when I come over here and do a change, it changes just that particular clip that I'm working on. If I put this in post clip mode, now when I change it, now all the three, all three clips are being changed with that correction. So that makes it a very powerful tool for grading. So I can come over here now, grade this up a bit, and let's come over here and just bring it down a little bit like so, bring it just to the edge, looks good, okay, that's fine. Now what I want to do is I want to come over to these uh, sky shots here and just give those a grade together. So as you can see these don't have corrections here on them at the moment. Now what I'm going to do here is click on this shot and click on this shot and then what I will do next is right mouse click on here and add that into a new group as well. Now what I can do here now, mountain section, okay, so we'll just click okay. Now these two are actually linked together. Now what happens here is I'll come over and I will do correction like so, drag it up like here a little bit, bring it up like that. That looks good. And then what I can do next is come over to this shot here, come into the point where the airplane is here, and do a similar situation here. So I do them separately. Bring that up a bit. Add a little more saturation to it. Now what I want to do is I want to do a correction that's going to affect both of them together. So let's do it a post clip uh, node graph area correction. And then what I'm going to do now is just give them just a little bit extra contrast overall. Bring the gain up a bit and then come over to my high softening here and bring that down and go to the low softening and bring that up like so. Now it's affecting both corrections here and we both have that same punchy correction that I've applied to this here now. Now, for example, what I can do next is I want to uh, come over here and I look at this shot and this looks fine, but I want to apply the correction from this one, 
hover over this shot, center mouse click on it, and now it's plugged the correction from this shot into clip number three. And now we've got this. It's a little bit too intense, so I like the correction, what's going on there, but as you can see here, the lift is a bit out of balance and bring that down, bring the gain down just a little bit and we're in good shape. Now for this shot here of the South Pole, I want to do an auto black and white um, correction. Easy way to do that, zoom into the picture. And now as you can see here, in the primaries, we've got a cross with a dot, black dot, and a cross with a white dot. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll take the black dot, put it over this area of the airplane that's obviously black. We'll take the white dot, put it in this area. It's supposed to be white. Now, as you can see, it looks much more neutral now. And then we just bring it out a clip a bit, bring the lift up a bit here, and maybe just pull a little bit of blue out of the gamma area here. Something like that. And we've got that now. Okay, now we've got this shot here of the airplane, uh, the biplane rather. And here, what I want to do is just do a quick correction for this a little bit. Put, bring the lift down a bit, compress the gamma, bring the gain down a little bit like so. That's looking good. And then what I want to do here is now let's come to the shot here in San Martin. And now what I want to do here is I look at the picture and I can see there's a bit of green in the highlights and it's a bit dark. So what I'm going to do here is I look at the scopes, I can see here that in the parade display, the green area, I just balance up the highlights there. And as you can see, my clouds now go back to being neutral. I can bring those up like so. Bring the lift down a bit. And now let's look at the shot all the way through. And as you can see, it's a bit green here in the undercarriage of the plane there. So what I want to do here is just balance that up like so. And let's just do this something like this. And something like that is probably better. And then we come back to here. And now that's looking good. But it's a little bit too bright in this part here. So let's take the highlight softening and bring that out. Bring that out of highlight in that area. And now we bring that through like so. Good, okay, so now we've got the night shot. This is an easy shot to correct, okay? So basically what we wanna do is first go to our lift, bring the lift up a bit. Looks pretty well balanced. Bring the gain up a bit. And let's just bring that up a little and just grade it to how we want and something like that. That's good. Okay, we're in good shape here. And now what we want to do here is now grade the um, plane on the runway here. And now what we're going to do is bring this down like so. Bring it in like here. And that looks pretty good. And then we want to get the other angle. So what we want to do is bring this down a bit too, like so. And then this is looking fine like that, okay. Here is a bit too much down there. So I'm going to get some detail out of the low light areas there. And then we have to come to the area here at night and then we bring that up a bit and then let's try and see what we can get out of it see what we can get out of it so let's just get something like that out and see what we get and that looks pretty good too 
So now, as you can see, in that short of time, we were able to actually color grade the entire project and get all the way through it. So there we have it. For more information about training services, have a look at the comments below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Think about subscribing. It doesn't cost anything. And also think about taking a training class with us. There's some information in the comments below about this. And I hope to see you again really soon. Thanks a lot for watching.